Tonight, I'm joined by Stan Scott. He's a Democrat running for election to Senate District 4. That includes Caroline County and parts of Hanover and Spotsylvania counties, as well as much of the Middle Peninsula. And then we'll post all of these interviews to WTBR.com. So, Mr. Scott, welcome. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you inviting me, Bill. Thanks. So tell us, what is this election about? Well, in my case specifically, the election is really about giving voters a choice. Um, the incumbents held the seat for 12 years without opposition. I think, however, that uh, more broadly speaking, the election is about, in some ways, what do we want Virginia to look like in 20, 50, 100 years? Uh, do we want clean rivers and a landscape that's un, uh, untouched by pipelines? Uh, do we want people to be able to go to work and to church and to school without having to worry about gun violence? Uh, do we want a place where kids want to come here, people want to come here so their kids will get a good education? Uh, we've had the same people, in some sense, doing this for a long time, and a lot of people are doing well, but some are getting left behind, and I'd like to give them some representation. Well, you mentioned, you mentioned guns and gun violence. Uh, you have uh, some elaborate details on your website talking about that. What, what are some of the steps you'd like to see done in terms of the General Assembly passing a, a bill, making a law to, uh, on some of these issues? Well, you know, I spent 20 years in the Army, and so I know a lot about firearms and what they're good for and what they're not so good for, what kind of firearms you need for certain things. Um, I think that we want to make sure that people who get firearms are trained and trusted. Um, we wouldn't give a firearm in the Army to someone who wasn't trained and trusted. So I think we need to make sure people understand gun safety and those kinds of things. And we need to do background checks to make sure people are trusted, that the right people are getting them, that there are good guys with a gun who have guns. So that is it so-called universal background checks? I would that say universal. Gun shows also doing the checks as well? Yes, you, I think we need universal background checks for all firearms transfers. Uh, I think we need to think about what liability looks like with firearms, both for the gun manufacturers and for people whose firearms are misused. Um, red flag laws make a lot of sense to me, but I think we have to make sure that we don't take someone's firearm without due process. This shouldn't be just on one person's or two person's say so. That's, you know, some of the criticism of the red flag right, laws. Right. Um, how about health care? You talk about that as well, that uh, presumably drug prices in some cases too high, that not every Virginian has access to health care or health care coverage. I think we need to make sure every Virginian has access to real health care and not just health insurance. Uh, and of course, drug prices are a factor too. You know, people need certain medications to survive, to stay alive. And I'm not sure markets really fix that. I'm not sure markets really regulate resources there. So I would take some steps to keep drug prices low. Maybe Virginia can purchase them, you know, get some economies of scale and purchase them in bulk and, and then distribute through programs or something. Um, the devil's in the details, of course, with all of that. But uh, too many people are left behind uh, who don't have any kind of access to health care. And I don't understand how you can say you're pro-life if you don't think health care is a human right. Um, so you would expand the Medicaid expansion that happened two years ago. Uh, you would expand that even further, presumably. Would, yes. So uh, how much would it cost? People, I, I'm sure anybody at home would be saying, sure, if everybody had health care, that'd be great. But how much is it going to cost? Well, the, how and much it costs depends from? on how much you expand it. And where that money comes from is a great question. Uh, Virginia is a very wealthy state. Uh, one thing I would look at would be to try to do some some tweaking on the tax system, you know, the highest tax bracket starts at 17000 So maybe there are some wealthy Virginians who could for afford to kick in a little more for to support the system that they prospered under uh, and to help their fellow man in a way. But, you know, where, how much it costs and where it comes from, where that money comes from, depends on just exactly what you want to do. So the devil's in the detail. And I think we want to talk to different people across the state because Northern Virginia will have different needs, requirements than Southwest or, or my, di uh, my district. Uh, so I think we want to take a look at just what the details would be, but we need to make sure everyone has good health care. It's, it's just a human right and it makes sense from yeah. a moral standpoint. And in a little bit of time we have left, uh, education, where would you start there? What, what do you see as the biggest need there? The first thing I would do is take a look at the funding formula and how state dollars are allocated and try to make sure that the state dollars are going to the different parts of the state in a way that creates an education system in those regions that fits their traditions and their requirements. Because again, Northern Virginia will have different requirements than you'll have in 
you know, Botetourt County or Lancaster County. All right. I'm sorry. We're just about out of time. Stan Scott, Democrat running. I know I told you it would fly by. It'd either be the <laughs> fastest five minutes or the shortest five minutes of your life. But running in Senate District 4, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, sir. Appreciate, right. it. appreciate it.